Surfsite's AI-12 dashcam is designed for a simple and fast installation. Please review all safety warnings and guidelines before installing. To start, open the box. You should find the AI-12 dashcam with a mounting bracket attached, the hardware installation kit, a screwdriver, and the Surfsite dashcam user guide. The AI-12 dashcam supports both a SIM card and an SD card. The cards are pre-installed. Additionally, it has a tamper-proof cover that you can open with the screwdriver we included. Before getting started, locate the fuse box in the vehicle based on its model and make sure you have a circuit tester handy. Open the hardware installation kit. The kit includes a cable, a fuse kit, and a fuse tap. We'll start by hardwiring the dash cam to a fuse that has a constant power source. To do this, remove the plastic panel from the fuse box. Use a circuit tester to test which fuse uses a constant power source. Use the Add a Fuse Kit. The Add a Fuse Kit provides a fuse slot for the existing circuit and another fuse slot for the new circuit for the dashcam device. Insert the new fuse tab provided in the kit into slot 1. Now insert the fuse from the vehicle fuse box into slot 2. Use a standard needle nose pliers to crimp the exposed wires with the terminal crimp connector. Connect the Add a Fuse Kit to the vehicle fuse slot. Connect the ground wire by slipping it under a metal bolt or screw in your vehicle. Loosen the bolt enough to slip it in and tighten it back up afterwards. Next, plug the power cable into the dash cam and turn on the dash cam to test the power. For the MV plus AI technology to work effectively, the AI-12 dash cam needs to be mounted properly to the windshield. Before mounting the dash cam to the windshield, verify that the vehicle is parked on a level surface the windshield is cleaned with an alcohol wipe and completely dried. Position the dash cam by ensuring that you have a clear view of the driver's upper body. You have a clear view of the road. The dash cam does not obstruct the driver's field of vision. The distance to the dash cam is further from your arm. Next, press the dash cam's touch screen. Enter the default PIN number to unlock the dash cam. Press the live view icon. Use the arrow keys to toggle between the road view and the in-cabin view. Use the dash cam's views to position the dash cam. Once you've selected where it should be placed, remove the adhesive tape from the mounting bracket and mount the dash cam onto the windshield. Now, you'll need to set the dash cam viewing angles. Use the special screwdriver to loosen the three security screws on the round side of the dash cam. Do not remove the screws fully. Adjust the viewing angle of the road-facing lens by rotating the body of the dash cam. Then, adjust the viewing angle of the driver-facing lens by rotating the ring. Tighten the three side screws when finished. Note that the AI-12 dash cam can be positioned to view a driver on the left or right side of the cabin to fit both countries that drive on the right side and on the left side. The dash cam contains internal sensors. Before you start using the dash cam, you need to calibrate it. First, make sure the vehicle ignition is off. Check that the dash cam is on. Press the touch screen and enter the default PIN code to unlock it. Press Settings. Press Calibration. The calibration process takes about a second, and once completed, the status changes from Not Done to Done. The default PIN code is publicly available. To secure access to the dash cam, you should change the PIN code for your dash cam. Press the touch screen and enter the default PIN code to unlock it. Press Settings. Scroll down to Change PIN. Insert four digits for a new PIN code. Note, you can set a code for the fleet manager and another code for the driver. Now that the camera is properly installed, run the power cable along the headliner of the vehicle from the A pillar to the power source. The AI-12 dash cam is now installed and is ready to transmit data, so you can view live video from the vehicle, detect risky driving incidents, identify drivers' distractions, and other features. To learn more, we invite you to visit our support website.